Hello, I'm Glenn Catterson. I'm here at Airline Hydraulics at the Pittsburgh location. I'm here to demo the new Hydac HMG 4000. One might ask where could it be used or who could use it. It's really a device that can bring in any analog signal, 4 volts, 10 volts, 5 volts, or a current signal, 0 to 20, and you can scale those signals internally to meet any kind of engineering unit you want. It can be flow, it can be CFM, it can be spool position such on a proportional valve, it can be feedback signal come from a VFD, it tells you a speed of an electrical motor. You can pull eight analog values into this device in less than a millisecond scan time. So it's very fast. Uh, you can really catch some dynamic signals and problems you may be seeing. It could be used by hydraulic people in a plant. Those same hydraulic people could give this unit to the electronics people they could use it to analyze signals going to a drive. They could give it to a millwright that may be looking at pneumatic related equipment that has transducers or say electronic controlled regulators and they can look at those signals. So the diversity of it, even though designed by a hydraulic company, it can measure a vast value of analog signals and that means you can also scale a vast number of engineering units to those signals. So, it applies to just about anybody in a plant or facility that's doing maintenance, whether it be electrical, hydraulic, maybe even some IT people. How the HMG 4000 operates is by collecting very finite data points. Uh, they could be sampling one millisecond, a half a microsecond. It creates many fine little points of data over a period of time, which creates what they call a measuring curve. That measuring curve now is taken and converted into a graph, and then you can start graphing and plotting all these features, either on the front of the HMG, or you can look at it on a laptop through the HMG Win software package and really print out a very professional report. And you can really highlight the fine areas of the measuring curve to get down into where maybe a problem might be. You can zoom in on it and say, oh, I see the problem. It can collect up to 500 measuring samples, in other words, a whole slew of measurements, up to a total of about 80 million sample points. That's, that's a lot of data. Now you can collect real-time data. You can collect data very fast. You can collect data over a period of time. This is a third-party transducer. It's actually a vibration transducer. I again can bring this information into here because this is an analog signal. I can set it up to read vibration on my HMG unit. One might ask how many signals can you bring in here? You can bring up this 38 signals into this device. Uh, there's eight analog, there's two discrete digital inputs and then you can put a 28 additional CAN bus units on this HMG 4000. basically portable as you can see. It's battery operated but it also has an AC power source that you can plug in and, and run real time and collect data for a long period of time. The battery has about three four hours of recording time. It's capable of collecting analog data and also digital data into the device. Where some of that information comes in you can see through the top here you got many ports to pull data into. The device itself has a 16 gigabyte storage capacity right on the device itself. And in, a, in addition, you can connect into the USB port and get additional storage space. You also have a port that you can connect to the operating software. The unit itself is very simple. It has a 5.7 inch screen. You can interface with the unit all by touch screen. Menus and the scaling of the different variables, the different variables you want to set up. All the setup features can be done real time on here by touching some of the different menus as you can see the full menu database right here. Tidak who makes this unit also makes a whole line of transducers. This being a pressure transducer that's a smart transducer. What I mean by that as soon as you connect this to the data acquisition module it will automatically recognize what it is it will scale the parameters to match this transducer. So it's a smart transducer. The software recognizes it right away. So this would be a pressure, this would be a temperature, and this would be one of their flow meters.
So these are uh, smart devices that HIDAC makes. Most of the devices are connected with a very simple M12 connector, so it's very easy to integrate into the HMG. You also have a breakout box, uh, which has pins on it that you connect and take a live signal in that would say be coming from a VFD or a proportional valve, in this case here, a Rexroth proportional valve, which has spool position signal and also has a pressure transducer signal on there. That's not smart, but yet you can configure that signal into the HMG and actually look at that proportional valve and know what signal's coming in, know where the spool position is, and know what kind of pressure is being controlled all with one device. Uh, again, this is the HIDAC HMG 4000 the newest HIDAC recording instrument out there. If you have any questions on it, feel free to contact Airline Hydraulics at airlinehide.com, that's H-Y-D. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, have a great day.